What's going on, guys? Welcome to the new video, everybody. Oh, dang it, my camera. Man, I just really want to ride my scooter. Good news, guys. The scooter's being fixed today. We're going to go to the United Cycle, the store where I actually bought the scooter at. Hopefully, they're going to give me a back axle. I've got my parts here, my beautiful root air, and then just the shirt bolt just to show them whatever an example of what I need and the length. I've got some fidget spinners, you know. All's good. Oh, yeah, looks nice. So, I will be doing that. That's after school. It's in the morning now. So, I just have to chill and patiently wait. Saturday rain, Sunday rain, it's dumb. So I just looked at the weather, if you couldn't tell, and it said it's supposed to be rainy on Saturday and Sunday, which is, I mean, you never know, they could change it. It was supposed to be 14 and rainy, which is like decently warm, and then rain, so that would suck a lot. But maybe my mom will take me to an indoor skate park. Should we go to that indoor skate park? Maybe. Enough talking, but one thing I want to say is stay around till the end of the video. So guys, um, it's 3.05 right now, and to be honest, for the last two hours I haven't been in school. So, to set the scene, I was at lunch. I was scooting with my friend Aiden, we are just scooting around, that's what we do, we just go in the back, like, it's bored. I don't bring my helmet, because there's like, I usually don't do like, tricks or anything, like I'll bring it to the skate park, but just ride, and it's another thing, and then, yeah. So we were riding, there's like this little concrete to grass slope, and I'm like, hey, that's like a cool little bank, and like I jumped on it a few times and the grass was nice and hard, so I'm like, it's just like concrete, so like, it's like a bank, but it's just grass, but the grass is hard, so it was working for all the tricks, so I jumped it a few times, I'm like, this is working perfectly, so then I did a tail whip, and I was trying to double whip it, I went straight into trying to double whip it, and like my front wheel got stuck and it just shot me flying. Obviously, I'm that that didn't do anything. I mean, I got stuck. I'm like, I'll try it again. This time, the second time, I just tried tail whip, and I go going pretty fast tail whip. My front end of my scooter gets stuck in. That like launches me to the ground. So right now I'm like sitting on the ground. Then all of a sudden, from what I know, my scooter just flew up because it was like hitting the ground sideways. The deck shot up conked me right in the back of the head. It felt like something had just hit me. Like, you know, when like somebody throws a dodgeball and you just shakes your head up a little bit and you're just like, whoa. But then like my friend's like, Aiden, he's like, yo, you're bleeding. I'm like, what? And yeah, as you know, blood was just squirting out of my head. So head injuries just are known to squirt a lot of blood, which I didn't really know that at the time, but I'm like, oh my gosh, good thing the principal was out. Cause my head was just like going crazy. So I was like holding it. I had no idea what to do. So then she took me, went through the school, went to the office. Um, I sat there, they cleaned it up for me. Like I had no idea, because this is on the top of my head. I can't even see it now. And then I, w I was just like, so, I wasn't crying because it didn't hurt. Like, it barely hurt. It hurt. The most pain may have been at that moment, just like when I got hit, but I couldn't feel it at all. Like, it didn't sting. Probably just like the shock the moment. So teacher takes me in, she's like, dealing up, Aiden's there, like all these kids come in, are just like trying to figure out what is going on. It's, I mean, it's so weird. And then, so they say I'm gonna need stitches. I'm like, oh my gosh, like stitches, that is so, oh, I, I just, I just like, no, there's no way. But, so they called my mom, my mom came, it was bleeding a lot and they said it was about this big. They said it wasn't deep, so I might not need staples just stitches and honestly i was just so scared it was it was a really bad feeling i just didn't know what to do or honestly yeah i, I just didn't i just didn't know what to do i didn't know how to feel i was like i was scared so then they took me and i was like yeah we're gonna go to the hospital we ended up going to a medi center not the hospital but yeah i got they took me in like i was holding this cloth on the back of my head they said yeah you're gonna need stitches and Mm -hmm. So I sat in the waiting room for 10 minutes, thoughts were going through my head, I'm like, oh my word, I'm getting stitches, this has never happened to me before, um, I just didn't know what to think, 
So then it was on the back of my head. So it's not like a leg or like an arm where I can watch it. So I guess it was pretty good. One, I had no idea what my wound, wound looked like. And two, like, I didn't really know what to do. So they laid me down on the table. I just laid like this. She just told me, and I saw the needle, and I hate needles. You'll, you'll know that if you know me. I hate needles. So she took it. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so here's the hole in my head. Not the hole, but the gash. She squirted it. She poked it. It barely hurt. That's probably the worst pain of everything. Poked it that side, like that. Poked it that side, like that. Like little pinches, like going like this. That was it. Then you could feel the cooling cream coming in. So I did that. Anyway, I just laid there. She's like, we'll just let it freeze. And then, so she's like, okay, I'm gonna get to start stitching. Let me know if you feel any pain. So I'm like, okay. So I'm just like sitting there. I mean, head doesn't really hurt that much. And then I'm like, just tell me when I should like feel stuff. She's like, oh yeah, you should probably feel it now. I mean, there's like a needle through your head. Like what? The, the cream, if you ever need to get stitches, do not worry. You don't need to worry as much as I did. It doesn't hurt at all. I thought I was just getting cream, but I got a needle, which needles suck, but it's honestly so worth it. You, I could not feel a thing. The only thing I could feel is like when she pulled them together to tie them, cause there's like the single, not they're not like this. There's like the single. When she pulled them, I could feel the tension of like my skin coming together. So disgusting. But, and I only felt a little prick cause it was like at the side of my wound that maybe the freezing cream hadn't got completely all too. So I felt a little pinch, but I mean, that was it. Like the needle was going in and out of my skin and everything was fine. So that was pretty crazy. I felt so good after I felt like it, it's just like a huge relief off your chest. I felt so good. My mom was sure to take a lot of pictures and to prove how much blood, I don't know how well you can see it, but my hair was red or, oh yeah, you can see red there. Um, yeah, that's blood, my shirt. That's blood. Yeah, so I got blood in a lot of places. I think I got some on my shoes because it was just dripping like crazy, but I got stitches. I'm gonna play the pictures through right now. My mom got a lot. So if you don't like any of the stitches stuff or, there's not really blood. I guess there is blood because I'm going with this. There's a picture and there's blood all over my hair and my arms and my hands. But I'll play them right now. So if you don't like it, just skip through that part. Yeah, but enjoy the pictures. Honestly, I'm fine. Thanks to everybody who reached out on my Snapchat and all the kids. Like, cause the, by the time I was leaving, cause I sat in the office for maybe 20 minutes for my mom, for them to call my mom and come pick me up. There was already like a big crowd of kids there and like a bunch of people texting me, asked how I was doing and everything. So honestly, it's been really good. Thanks for doing that. Feel I feel fine now. I like my mom says I can still go to the skate park on the weekend. <laughs> so we should be good. Cool little experience. Got a story to tell everybody tomorrow. But I'll see you guys later. I might vlog going to get my stuff, but this will be a longer vlog already. And yeah. So pictures of play now, and I'll see you guys later. So guys, I just wrapped up showering. I feel a lot better. I had to wash the blood on my hair, so I mean, it was pretty nasty. Just like red water dripping, and it smelled super bad. But I feel better now. All's good. I might be go well. I know I'm going to get a replacement axle for my scooter, so I mean, we're going to United Cycle. So I might vlog that a little. I'll see how I'm feeling. But I'll be announcing a giveaway next vlog. So make sure you're subscribed and turn post notifications on. <laughs> to um, make sure you don't miss that giveaway. I mean, it's gonna be pretty cool. Not, nothing huge, but little giveaway. Thank you for you guys. So I'll see you guys later.